Hello everyone. Hi there. You'll see that we are uh, behind the camera tonight. We are in the lovely gallery space where we have set up um, the exhibition for the Arts and Crafts Fair in Wackerstrom today. That's opening over the weekend. And we thought to just show you what we've been up to this week and talk about creativity a little bit. It's lovely. This space in itself is a, a work of art. It's one of the oldest buildings in Wackerstrom. We would say more than 100 years old. Mm -hmm. Initially, it was the general dealer, and then it went through quite a few owners, and at one stage, it was a residence with partitions in the middle to create rooms. Um, and then recently it was bought and it's now renovated to the original space and it is just so lovely as an exhibition uh, area. Mm. It's lovely, uh, or oh, just so creative. This is Flip Hutting of Joburg's um, stones that's been crocheted around and uh, just so creative. He is just such an an expression of, of creativity. He, at the moment, he is very much taken with printed tin, um, tins that he uses, cuts his hands to pieces, he says. And, and talking uh, of hands being cut, just look here at the back. Oh the yeah, back. let me show you. Oh, I mustn't go too fast. There's some beautiful things. Uh, lovely. There's some beautiful mosaics mm -hmm. of Pam Knoll from Bryanston. And that is cut glass and yes. mirrors and... Let me get a bit closer. The light isn't that good. We're already a little bit into the into the evening after the opening ceremony. So um, we've been extremely busy. There's a beautiful door that's been renovated. Oregon door with a beautiful light fitting. And then there's these old furniture, and look at this Chinese. Uh, yeah, this Chinese cabinet with the, with one of the Carol Slobolevsky's um, cats on top. Isn't that just gorgeous? Lovely work of uh, Anita Oosthuizen of Newcastle. Another mosaic. There's Isabel Nodia and some work, pastel, pastel drawings. By Antoinette Walters. Antoinette Walters of Newcastle. More of Carol's sculptures. There's an installation that's happening tomorrow morning. Always a last minute thing. There's some of our sculptures and pottery. And uh, this is a, is a well-established artist here in the back. Um, and you look at this. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I can't go. Zoop. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So this is done in the in the in the Dadaism style, and it's very much art journaling. So it might look like a children's drawing, but actually, there's um, there's processes happening while she's doing this, and uh, they're so colourful. And but below the surface, there's a lot happening with these drawings. And so, the, the thing being exposed and sharing a space with other artists is to to get that feeling of the abundance of creativity. Mm, mm. It, it, it can't be depleted. And it, even in nature, I mean, look at the blossoms that's now sort of reaching their peak. Um, spring blossoms, lovely acrylics. So it, it's just so meaningful to be in collaboration with all of these artists mm. and to to see how beautifully everything comes together there's some beautiful pencil drawings and it's not a matter of being a master artist or whatever but just to tap into your creativity mm. um. and then more beautiful woodwork oh this is such a gorgeous space i simply love it so yeah it's just to touch base with you and to show you what we've been up to there's some pottery that i've done on the wheel and some slab work um, the installation 
of the art pieces is also very important. Yeah, and um, George did all of the hanging of all of these paintings yesterday. It was a huge job. And, uh, and one tries to also respect the different artists' work in that sense. Yeah. Huh? But yeah. Hilda had to keep an eye on the position of the paintings and... Yeah, so... But we feel very proud about this space, so... Mm. It's just to... To touch base with you. And uh, we'll talk again next week. Keep well, everyone. Have a nice long weekend. Bye-bye.